Hey friends, we're learning C-sharp and right now we're learning about numbers and order of operations. Now here's the thing, David. Folks are watching these videos, they're learning C-sharp, they're perhaps beginners, maybe they're refreshing their understanding, but people are saying, I didn't do programming because it's all about numbers, it's all about math, and here we are talking about numbers and math. Oh no, it's not. I mean, this is just one type. We did strings. There's no math in that. This is just basically showing you what you can do in C-sharp. So it's not about the math. We're just showing you that you can represent numbers and do addition and do different kinds of operations. But this is just one part of a bigger story. So right. don't get worried yet. <laughs> yeah, later when we talk about object-oriented program, we might have people and people will have like an age and a height and a weight right. and those kind of things. So they'll have numbers, but it's not all about complicated math if you don't want it to be. Yep. Okay. So if we go back and look at our application, if you recall, we had created uh, two big numbers. Yep really big, almost too big to fit in an integer, which is 32 bits. Don't need to worry about the details, about but 32, uh, you know, a bucket's about yay big. And then we got an exponentially larger bucket. Not twice as big, but like exponentially larger. So long is a way bigger bucket, right? There are even bigger ones, but we, we won't. Is there a bigger we bucket won't, we won't than bring a long? Up. Yeah, there's a big integer. Big integer yeah. is a thing. Pretty much infinite space. <laughs> integer, long, big integer. Big integer, yep. Why is it called a long? It could have been called a medium <laughs> integer. What's funny is in, in other languages, like in C++, it's actually a long, long. A long, long? <laughs> a long, long, that's okay. right. <laughs> what, let me ask you this, though. Can I say uh, 42.1 and 38.3 or whatever like this? Why am I suddenly getting squigglies here? Because C Sharp loves explicitness. Okay. So you have to find the right type to store the right kind of number. Okay. Because there are specific semantics about how you add, how you round, what things happen, different operations available on different kinds of types. Okay, now you said that word, it likes explicitness. To be explicit is to be deliberate, to be intentional. These things really matter in programming. Uh, there's, a, there's a joke about uh, a programmer who asks her husband to go uh, to the store and gives explicit instructions, right? And she says, I want you to go to the store. I want you to get uh, eggs. And if they have bread, get six. The guy comes back with six eggs. And he's like, well, hang on. Did you get the bread? Well, they had bread. Are you being clear? About, exactly. <laughs> did, you, did they had bread? I got six eggs. But no, they had eggs. I got six bread. What do you really mean? And exactly. You get turned around really easily. Yep. OK. So when we hover over this, it says, I can't explicitly convert a double to an int. What's a double? I don't know what a double is. Yeah. Why does it think it's a double? It has no idea how to store decimal places or, or, or decimal um, positions into an integer. Okay. Right? So it's telling you, hey, you want to store a thing that looks like it has decimal numbers? Here's a type that you might want to try instead. So integer is inappropriate. What about double? Okay. So 42 is an integer. Yeah. And 43 is an integer. The stuff in between when we have a point, a decimal point, that floats, floats floats around. So that means that 42.1 or 4.21, in that case, that decimal's floating around, okay? That's right. So it says, well, hey, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I can't turn that into. So do I want to change integer to double? I will say one thing, hover on the error again. Mm -hmm. So when you're learning to code and you get these hints that tell you, you know, what's wrong, spend some time reading the text, mm. right? Even if you don't understand it right away, you have to get accustomed to being able to read errors and glean what they mean, right? So in this case, it's saying, I can't convert this thing that looks like a double on the left, right, right, right hand side to an int. Are you missing a cast? What's a cast? We didn't talk about casting yet. So, right. um, so that's a great point. So it says, are you missing a cast? Like, so huh? remember before when we tried to make an integer like a long, a long we, right? Yeah, we told it. I could you're say, long. trust me shove it into that Just bucket. Just put it in there. Yeah, exactly. Right? That Make bucket's going to fit. So I'm basically saying, I don't care what you think. You're going to make that thing fit in that bucket. So 42.1 plus 38.2 is going to be 80.3. Yeah. Right? That's, that's good math. Quick math. You like that? Quick, quick math? <laughs> quick math? Let's find out. Huh. It's 80. It's not 80.3. Because I took something that was the wrong shape, like a 
a square peg in a round hole and, and I force shoved him. it in there. And you lost, I you scraped, lost some stuff, right? <laughs> I scraped the parts off the outside because you stick a square peg in a round hole, you're going to break the peg, mess up. And I scraped off the point one and the point two. That's right. And they're gone. They're gone forever, correct? Yep. And when did they die? When did they go away? They gone away at that moment when I said, no, I'm serious. So that was wrong. That's the wrong thing to do. So what is a floating point type? A double. Let's double or float. Say double. Double or float. What's mm -hmm. the difference between a double and a float? Same as like int and long, right? So they're, they're both integer like numbers for int and long, but one is 32 bits and one is 64 bits. Okay. So, so the, this the one equivalent says a is double precision. Double precision. And that's a single, single precision. precision. Okay. Yep. But why is it salty about the float? Because you haven't been specific, Scott. Okay. So if I have a number that's just a very simple number that's something point something, it's going to assume it's a double because that's what most people use. We call that the natural type. Ah, that's a really good point. I'm going to introduce something that we haven't seen yet before, which is a comment. And I'm going to say, that's a natural type. So I put two slashes there and you see how it immediately turned green. I'm leaving a little comment for myself. Because now David says that's a natural this type. This is for humans, by the way, not for the compiler. So the com no one looks at that but a human. That's right. Everything after that slash slash, that's for me. That's a comment. Okay. So it says here, and you, you gave me a tip, make sure to read it. Yeah. Because I think what people do is they go, ah. I'm getting errors. Ah, it's an error. Ah. And then they start searching for They stuff. go online, Stack Overflow, copy don't, the. Don't go to Stack Overflow. <laughs> Use an F suffix. Okay, a suffix goes at the end, a prefix yep. goes at the beginning. Look at that. That's cool. So now it says, well, hang on. Now you're trying to turn a double into a long. How do I multiply these two numbers together or add the two, the two numbers together? Can I put them in a double? Yeah. So a float plus a double can be a double, that's and that's right. okay? Yep. Let's find out. Okay. Look at that. Now so we got this, some this is things. both good and bad here, because I'm thinking to myself, that's cool. I know how to do math. Who's this guy? Don't you want precision? That's not precision. That's just nonsense. That's accuracy. Is it accuracy? <laughs> so what's going on there? We're doing a little something interesting here, David. We've got one kind of thing, a double. We had another kind of thing, a float. We were explicit about it. I'm expecting to get a very clean number, 80.3, but it turns out that math on computers is it's not that it's not an exact science. It's but accurate, but it's, it's just... It's accurate, but there's a number of digits that are significant. You've ever heard the term most significant digits? That's right. And then there's other digits that are not that significant. Right. So what do people who are learning C-sharp need to know? Integers and longs you can count on. Doubles and floats are a bit squishy, but there's another type that's going to do what we expect. It's more accurate. Right. And what is that type? Decimal. Decimal. But it requires more storage space as a result. Right. So the more accuracy you want, the more space you need to store these numbers. Now I'm going to hover over it and it says, hey, that double needs a suffix. I'm going to use M for math. <laughs> That's what I say that means, right? <laughs> so then we've got... Your comment is wrong, though, by the way. Oh, and now this is not a natural type. What is it, what is it now? <laughs> this is an explicit type. This is an explicit <laughs> type. It's a great, great fix. That's a comment for a human, but still a great point. Let's try and run it again. 80.3, right? Perfect. So that's a whole rabbit hole that one can potentially go down. And you talk about numbers and precision and getting it right. And how they're stored in the computer and like, yeah, yeah that, that I would say isn't exactly beginner friendly, but yep. it's good to know when you start to use different types to store different kinds of values, right? Right, so. exactly. And we can see here in the docs, it says we've worked with integers and doubles. And there's a new type to learn, which is decimal has a smaller range, but greater precision. And that's the precision that we need. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to say the answer for this is, now I might do like this. That's old school, Scott. That's old school, you said, because we're going to go back to our string. Interpolation. Interpolation. I put a dollar sign yep. in front of the string. To mean money. I'm kidding. There's no it doesn't money. mean money. It doesn't mean money. <laughs> it just means this string is special. Pay more attention yeah, to it. It means look here, compiler. And then we put that C in there. So it's going to take this decimal and it's going to put it right there. Yep. And you notice how that's colored in a blue. If I remove that dollar sign, 
this is no longer special. Super important. Your IDE is helping you understand the different parts of the string, which things are going to be uh, um, variables, which right. things are part of the actual string itself. So the compiler is trying to understand is open curly, C open curly part of the string, or is it a thing I have to go figure out and replace with the actual value of C? Right. right? And you said IDE, that's Integrated yeah, I, Development Environment, like Visual right. Studio, VS, yeah. or a code editor like we're using like here in Visual code. Studio Code. So if I say .NET Run, the answer is yeah. curly C. If you get that, it's worth pointing out that there was no compiler error. No one complained. Not no wrong. Because it's, right? not, it's not wrong. It's, it's explicit. It's just explicitly wrong. <laughs> but if I put that dollar sign in front of there saying it's special, now the compiler is going to make extra attention, pay extra attention to that. And then we'll go and run it again. I'll run it inside of Visual Studio Code with Control F5. Again, lots of ways to go and do this. And there it is. The answer is 80.3. Yep. Yeah. Numbers in the world of C Sharp and computers in general are absolutely fascinating. All right, we've learned all about integers and floating point numbers. We put them into strings. Next up, branching and ifs.